What's up guys, welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs. Now first of all, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos that I have been posting onto this YouTube channel as of recent. But to tell you the truth, I've just been having maybe too much fun. Ever since Symphony of the Seas has arrived in Europe, I really have allowed myself to, well, it's just to enjoy myself. And I think time has slowly gotten away from me, but Nonetheless, no excuses, Chris. Today, I am back with a brand new cruise ship vlog. I think a lot of you are going to enjoy this video. Basically, this is the last couple of weeks. Some of the things that I've been getting up to both on board the ship and out in port. Enjoy today's European adventures and on with today's show. So me and Rianne are already here outside the restaurant. Hi, Rianne. Just waiting for everyone. Oh, here's the gang, here's the gang. Very nice, very nice. Hi y'all. Hi Lena. Welcome, welcome. And here's the vibes of the table. We're going to try and sit outside here. So this is deck eight of the ship and this outside area is covered by the glass. All right, we're just making our way. Hello everyone. Oh yes, 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 yes. And this is our table for this evening. So the first of our starters have arrived. We have a bacon dish of some sort. Alina chose this one. Bread and butter has come out. They even put a scented candle. Which is not a real candle, right? No, no, no real candles on the ship. And Luca has joined us. Hey man, nice suit. See, the green's a good look. Oh yes, more dishes are coming out. So we have a crab cake, I believe that. Oh no, wait, crab cake. I can see the shrimp cocktail. Good, good choice, Alina. Well, you ordered the same one, Rian? No, carpaccio. Oh, beef carpaccio. Oh, what, what sauce is that on the outside? Everybody start. Or should we cheers first? With the water. And then we'll cheers with the champagne. Yay, cheers. Europe season. And my, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will know the Chris Wong classic. Tuna tartar has arrived. Luca got the beef carpaccio yeah, as well. Yeah, I finished early last night. Another chops grill, Chris Wong classic. Mushroom soup smells absolutely unreal. Oh my god, look at this. So all the soups have arrived. Rianz is coming a little later. And Alina has got the lobster bisque. Which looks a little different. I remember eating this when I was in Alaska. So let's see how Chops Grill version is. Royal Caribbean's very own special Shandong. Thank you very much. Cheers, 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 cheers. Nice meal, Europe season. Let's go. In the oh center, my the way you like goodness. It. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, Surf and Surf has arrived. Filet, ribeye, filet, Surf and Surf. How we're going to consume all of this food, I don't know. But we're gonna try. All right, so I believe we have mashed potato, baked potato, tater tots, and um, don't know what this one is. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Yep. Okay, interesting side dish. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Dessert time. Warm chocolate cake with ice cream. Everybody also got the same. Oh, the cheesecake looks good too. Yeah. The strawberry sauce on top. Mmm. And then mm -hmm. another chocolate cake over here. And extra ice cream. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, you asked for extra ice cream. Yeah. Very nice. We already have this like volcano. The volcano? That's yeah. in Wonderland. No, no? the volcano inside was a hot. But hot, yeah, it's like once you open from oh. here. It's a hot oh, a, la a lava, lava cake. A lava cake. Oh, yeah, lava yeah. Cake, yeah. Okay. All right, welcome back to Palma de Mallorca and this is a shuttle ride into the town. So it's normally 10 euros for a round trip. For crew members, it's 5 euros. So this is what is going to take us into the town today. 
You can see we have a uh, very professional sign letting us know this is our ride. Look, look where I brought you today. Mallorca. Can you say it? It's Mallorca. Mallorca. She asked if we were in Barcelona before. No, we're not in Barcelona. <laughs> no, welcome to my school. I'm it, going back to Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're at uh, Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah? I promise I'm not filming. And the first thing we are eating today, or at least for me anyway, is gelato. And hazelnut in the cone, please. Thank you. Mmm. Breakfast of champions. Thank you. Thank you. Picture time. Looks green, so healthy. Look, oh yeah, very healthy. <laughs> Alina, what did you buy? <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> show, show me what you bought. Earring. How much did you spend? Only 74. <laughs> 74 euros. No, wow. Bad. You must be rich. Yeah, I'm so rich. <laughs> <laughs> Alina, what did you buy now? What did you buy now? My goodness. So today she bought sunglasses and pearl, pearl earrings. I think she spent like 400 euros today. Amazing. So I think Alina spent the most money today. Over 400 euros on shopping. Me and Yao spent absolutely nothing. Almost bought the dress. Not quite. Well done Alina. New sunglasses, new earrings. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Please. Wow. Look at her. those happy. those two Today things. <laughs> Today she's happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Civitavecchia and today casino team is going to Rome. We just got off the ship. Today is going to be probably the best Europe vlog I'm going to be making on this YouTube channel to date. Okay, here we go. The entire casino team is behind me. So in order to get to Rome from the port, it's quite far. The only way you can get to Rome from Civitavecchia is by taking the train or booking a shore excursion tour. We have made it to the train station today. This is going to be a one hour train journey into the city. So you do have to plan a little bit in advance. Make sure you leave the ship relatively early. It's still in the morning for us now. And we're excited for our train journey to Rome. This is going to be a day full of adventure. And look at us, 10 of us casino people doing some sightseeing today. Well, Rianne is making sure she's... Uh... <laughs> of course I had to get that in the vlog. I <laughs> know, oh, are we going to the beach or what? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Rome, we will see you soon. Ah, just like that, one hour journey on the train, done. We've successfully arrived at the main train station here in Rome. I had a very nice sleep, it was very much needed. But now, we have about four hours or so, and we're gonna try and check off as many of the destinations that we want to see as possible. All right, so before we get to all of the good stuff, we have to get the metro. So the train was five euros each way, and now the metro is going to be one euro fifty. It's always good to have an Italian in the group, so we know what the we're doing. Dude, the extra dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good to go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you to the Trevi Fountain. All right, let me see if I can get a better shot. There is so many people here. Oh my goodness. And this is the off season. It's not even summer yet. Look how many people here. Okay, how on earth are we gonna take photos? I have no idea. But your boy needs to get a wish. So I would say try and get here earlier if you can because there is a ridiculous amount of people, but the vibe is absolutely incredible and i think the last time i was here the water wasn't even running so it's definitely nice to see now i need to find a spot to make my wish but look at all of this attention to detail this is manuel thank you for taking us here dude tour guide for the day alina alina hi hi 
Roma. Here we go. I found the nice spot with no people. Chris Wong's got his coin out here, 50 cents. Chevy Fountain right behind me. All right, what is Chris Wong going to wish for? Put it in the comment section if you know what I'm going to wish for. All right, here we go. Uh, we got one now. Right, so what I will say is getting a photo in front of the Trevi Fountain is definitely a lot more challenging than you would expect. There is actually that many people there, but your boy actually succeeded, so follow me on Instagram to check out my photo. But as for now, we are kind of doing this little Hi. climb, a little hike up the stairs. I believe this is what the Spanish steps are. Don't quote me on that. I need to double check exactly where we are. But we made it to the top of the stairs. And I apologize for this music. There's a guy playing his keyboard here. I actually think he's kind of ruining the moment, but it is what it is. We have an incredible view of the entire city from this view. I'm going to try and show you now again. There's quite a lot of people here. This is what we came up here to see. So let me see. Hello, Rome. Wow. This is a spectacular view of the entire city. So we've all just been taking photos of the scenery here. Look at this for a shot. Amazing. Really nice. Yao and Dylan enjoying the view. Aline is here. Brianne's taking her photos. Look at this for a day. Casino day out in Rome. It's going very, very well. So I believe these could be the Spanish steps. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my bearings of where I am. And look at the view from the uh, bottom. This is definitely the Spanish steps. So this is what I thought we were at before. Look how pretty it is. We've been, we've been walking today. Yeah, where's Rianne? I think Rianne's still taking photos, but there is a lot of people as you can see. I thought this was the off season. Summer hasn't even started yet and look how busy Rome is. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like, I don't know, a month from now, two months. So if you are going to come on board, be prepared for, well, a very populated city. So it's the middle of the day now and it is hot. Like your boy is sweating. Definitely, probably should have wore shorts today. I think we are slowly getting towards that weather now. Spring is coming to an end. Summer is about to begin. But now, I believe we are going to make our way, or at least attempt to make our way to the Colosseum. Now this is going to be quite a far walk, all right? This is the thing with Rome. Everything is spread out. Nothing is close to each other. Or the things are relatively close to each other, but you still do have to plan your maps, your Google Maps sorted, and just make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear. Bring lots of bottle of water and you will be fine. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Piazza yeah. de Venezia. Please excuse my accent. I know I butchered that completely, but look at the sight of this thing. It looks just like the real one in Las Vegas. Obviously, I'm just joking, but look at this place. Wow, this is huge. So we haven't actually got there yet. We need to cross the road to get to the other side. But we're actually gonna walk up the stairs now and we can actually walk around the entire thing. All right, so slight change of plan. It turns out if you actually go across and go up the stairs to walk around, you have to walk around the whole thing. They don't let you sort of turn back. And apparently it takes about 45 minutes to walk around the entire thing. So we are a bit pushed for time today. So I, I don't think we're gonna walk across now to the Piazza de Venezia, but we are slowly making our way to the Colosseum, which we are all very, very excited about. All right, so on your way to the walk to the Colosseum, you actually get to walk past what I believe is like a, a fake English translation is Old Rome. So you can see all of these sorts of buildings have been destroyed and have aged over the years but it's just so incredible to look at. The amount of history that's in this one place right now is actually unbelievable. And I wish I did a bit more research to really know what it is that I'm looking at. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Today is going to end with a visit to the Colosseum. Look at it, it's directly behind me. The amount of history, again, that happened in this very arena. Absolutely unbelievable scenes. So we're just trying to find some nice spots now to take pictures. And again, there's a lot of people here, so you have to really find your spot. But just look at this place, man. Welcome to Rome. 
I'm glad you could join me today. Just another day in the life of Chris Wong. And this is it. Casino Royale, Symphony of the Seas team successfully made it to the Coliseum today. And a whole bunch of other spots. Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps. What else did we see? So much walking, so many steps. But it's totally worthwhile when you see the scenes like this. So here's the restaurant we have arrived at today. Lunch is served, casino team is very happy right now after a long successful day of walking around Rome. It's definitely nice to be sat down enjoying some nice Italian food. Pizzas, spaghetti, all sorts of seafood, meats, wine. This is a very nice day. Oh, excuse me for the siren outside. And if that wasn't enough food, after consuming all of the pizza and pasta and gnocchi, we have tiramisu. Because of course we are in Italy, we have to try authentic Italian dessert. This looks amazing, look at that. Wow. Cheers, 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 cheers. Wait, 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 what? what? Wow. That is some strong stuff. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the cruise terminal here in La Spezia. Now, not gonna lie. Today probably wasn't the smartest idea to go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa because the weather is actually terrible. We're just waiting for our tour bus. We paid for a tour. This was not organized by the cruise ship. So we're just waiting for our tour now. <laughs> we have our umbrellas drying off as we speak. Here's everybody for the tour group. <laughs> and we're just patiently waiting for our bus. All right, so one hour bus journey has been complete. So now the tour begins. So this is quite good actually. The 40 euros includes the bus ride, a tour guide. We're gonna walk to some village. We're gonna walk to the tower and we're gonna see quite a lot. Unfortunately, I did fall asleep on the bus and I didn't really listen to some of the things he was telling us, which was, I think, quite interesting. But here we are. Welcome to Pisa. Let's see what we can see today. Well, this is the reality of the situation. It's so cold. It's winter. Are you guys cold? See, for me, for me, this is okay. Alina, look where I brought you today. <laughs> look at this. Oh dear me. We were in the Caribbean for too long. We don't know how to handle this cold weather. Brian, how you, how you doing? Look at, look at this woman. <laughs> <laughs> for me, sure, it's just like another day in England. But anyway, we're here now in the main... Good for you, no, you feel like you're at home. Yeah, I'm just like a home. Here's the main square. Actually, no, I don't even know if it's a square. It's the main street full of shops, restaurants. We're slowly making our way to the Leaning Tower. I can actually see it dead ahead of me. Uh, but we are going to walk around to the main front area where the grass is. And this is where we're going to take some pictures. Now, the advantage to actually coming on a day like today when it is raining, I do believe there is a lot less tourists compared to usual. Yeah, see, this is much nicer. When you come on a sunny day, there is people everywhere. But when you come on a day where it's slightly rainy, which we're lucky now because it stopped, there is a lot less people. So look how nice this is. Oh my goodness. Careful. <laughs> do what you got to do for the Instagram shot. You have to turn around now. Come on, woman. Alina, you have to turn a little bit. There we go. There Get the shots. And Rianne's turn. <laughs> like Look at this. Well, boys and girls, here you have it. Chris Wong in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Check it off. Although the weather is progressively getting worse again, but actually it's still a lot of people here. It's still very, very busy. I thought it'd be a little quieter because it is raining, but I guess when the cruise ships come in, people are still going to make the most of every opportunity possible. So yeah, you can still see all of the people behind me taking their photos, but yes, quite incredible to see. Like, let me put my umbrella down. Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
I'm still glad I came out today, but I think we will probably come back again in a few weeks when the weather's a little better. Yal's turn. So we're all climbing on top of the uh, pillar to try and get a better angle. <laughs> Look at this. This is what we do for the Instagram shot. Although oh, these people in the way are making it. Like I said, when there's people everywhere, it's so hard to try and get a photo. But we're doing our best. So the ladies are just checking their photos. This is the reality of the situation. Instagram versus reality. Oh yes, Alina. Fantastic. Wow. How are you? <laughs> I can see the wind blowing your umbrella as well. All right, so that's gonna do it for our day trip visiting the Leaning Tower. Unfortunately, like I said, the weather's making it just a little bit more difficult to, you know, really enjoy and see everything that we, well, just to appreciate the day today. It is a bit more rushed. It's kind of like take your pictures quick and then run inside somewhere. Okay, Elena, let me see what you bought. Oh yeah, uh, Rian bought the same thing. No, but I have better than her. Is it? Yes. All right, see? hold on. So this one's got the There's tower. Outside. And this one, oh, you had the things on the outside. Ah, yeah. okay, very nice. Good souvenirs. There's a horse too. Is it? How much did you pay for it? Four. Four euros? But no matter what the weather is outside or how cold it is, there's always time for gelato. Oh, this place is nice. We've got the toppings at the side over here. Candies. Let's see what flavors we got. Rian, why do you need your umbrella inside? <laughs> Put your umbrella away. What are you doing? Uh, because I'm cold. Oh yeah, because and, and the umbrella is going to keep you warm, is it? Yes. Uh, I want, I want, I want. Let me see. Very nice. Well, here we are back at the cruise terminal from Pisa. And look at this weather now. Right at the end of the day, we have this glorious sunshine. Oh, but it's okay. We had a good day nonetheless. But this was a fantastic tour. Highly recommended. So if anyone is doing the same itinerary as me, I forgot, was it Tuscany Tours? Chris Wong recommendation. Ah, beautiful home sweet home. I can't get over how nice the weather is now. <laughs> Look how colorful it, everything looks, but it's okay. All right guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Today, I'm actually docked in France, but the weather is not the best today. I'm not sure if you can tell on my camera. So no adventures in France today, but nonetheless, thank you so much for watching today's video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I've been Chris Wong. See you later.